Retro Ride here coming at you with another pickup video. Today is August 6, 2018. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a lot of factory sealed stuff that I'm going to be adding to my personal collection. Uh, it's been growing rather rapidly. Uh, the moral of the story for this video is definitely going to be always ask if they have more or if they'll do a bundle deal. Uh, in the comments down below, let me know what you've been playing recently. Uh, I just recently got Mario Tennis on the Switch as well as Octopath. Uh, I chose a warrior. If you guys are playing Octopath, let me know who you started with as well in the comments down below. Uh, the first lot we're going to get into is a three uh, three factory sealed game lot. Uh, so I was searching on eBay, looking for some good deals on factory sealed stuff, and I do it on a regular basis now. Uh, and I saw this game here, Death Junior 2, Root of Evil on the PSP, and the get seller wanted $10 or best offer, I believe it was. So the first thing I did was I checked to see if he had any other factory sealed stuff. He had two other games. So I messaged him and asked if he would do 25 for all three of them. And he said he would plus shipping. The total of the other games were Final Fantasy and Guilty Gear Isuka. Uh, so the Final Fantasy, which would have been a really good deal for the 25, uh, the seal is technically broke right here. So if you really want to get technical, this is not a factory sealed copy. But uh, for me, this is close enough to factor seal, and I'll keep on, keep, hang on to it until I get it, an official black label version with the not 20th anniversary on it. Uh, the next lot was a Facebook deal. Uh, I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. Uh, the guy posted, I think, 20 or so factory seal games. Four of them were already picked up, and the four that were picked up were some really good stuff that I would have liked to have in my collection. And then the other ones... Uh, he had available still, which was pretty awesome. Uh, first game was Metal Gear Solid 4. This is the uh, not for resale version that was bundled in with the system as well. Uh, you have George of the Jungle for PS2. This is sort of like a throw in. Uh, the Metal Gear Solid, I think, was 10. George of the Jungle was 4. The total for everything was uh, 220 bucks shipped. Uh, Dot Hack Mutation Part 2. Rogue Galaxy. Uh, this one was the only one, again, had some damage to it. This technically isn't factory sealed, but I'll hold on to it for now. SOCOM Combat Assault. Metal Gear Solid 2. Unlimited Saga. Dot Hack Infection. Kingdom Hearts. Rechain of Memory. Hetty Getty. Hetty. Hetty, yeah, Gertie. Hurdy Gertie. Uh, Sphinx. No, Sphinx. Xenosaga Episode 1 and Summoner 2. Uh, essentially, almost every one of those games, the prices for the sealed versus what it was complete is right about where I paid for those. The next lot uh, was a three phase uh, purchase from this one seller. This one seller wasn't the greatest in communication, but he cut deals. Uh, I saw that he posted four factory sealed uh, PSP games. I messaged him and said if I bought all four, could he do a deal because it was buy it now or best offer. All of his prices were between like 10 and 20 bucks on the PSP games. And they were like I said, or best offer. So I knew he would go lower. Uh, he didn't reply to me at all. Uh, I waited a few hours. It was getting tired, getting late. Uh, no one had purchased any of them. So I decided to just do offers. So I offered like $7 for one, $6 for another one, uh, $12 for another one, and like $8. I basically did like 40% off of what he was asking for him. Woke up the next morning and they all said pay now. Uh, so when I went to go pay, I said let me check to see if he has anything else. He had listed more. I did the same thing. Offered uh, all crazy low numbers. Uh, he only countered me on one game which I did not buy because I actually almost made a mistake. Even with my low number based on what he was asking for, it was still priced wrong. So then I bought all those games. Uh, and then I asked him, hey, can we do combined shipping? It all fit in a medium flat rate box. He combined all the shipping because he had $3.75 shipping on each one, which would have gotten really ridiculous really fast. Then he listed another small lot, and then I wound up picking up the rest of those as well. So the first game I got was Phantom Brave, Mega Man X Hunter. Uh, Guilty Gear, Judgment, Wild Arms, Dog Stalkers, Chronicles. Uh, this is uh, Midway's Treasures, 
Kingdom Hearts, Birth by Sleep. I'm hoping to get the limited edition with the slip cover, but we'll see. Okami Den. Ico Shadow of Colossus combo pack. This was like $8. It was like dirt cheap. Prince of Persia was like 4 bucks. Duke Nukem Forever was like 5 or $6. It was, again, Kingdom Hearts 2.5. I think I offered like $4 for this one as well. Uh, Extreme Legends Dynasty Warrior 7. House of the Dead Overkill. Mega Man X Collection. The King of Fighters 2006. The most expensive one out of everything was Raiden 3. I think I paid 30 bucks for this one. And then I actually found out that I actually had it in a different uh, box that I didn't even have displayed. So, pretty bummed out that I have a duplicate of this, but I'll trade it for something else. Next two I got as a gift for my buddy Alex. Uh, Blue Dragon Plus and then Rodea the Sky Soldier. This one, I'm so surprised that I won this one so cheap. I won this, it was an auction bids. It was a terrible picture, but it was a high, uh, high rated seller, and he took returns. The only picture that you saw of it was this close up. This was the only picture, and it was said brand new factory sealed. There was no description at all, and I won it for $58 or $59. Uh, but it came in, it's absolutely perfect, and it's sealed. Uh, this was a quick grab on eBay. I think it was 20 bucks or $25. R-Type DX, I love R-Type. Uh, and to have it on the Game Boy Color is even better. These are, again, cheap eBay grabs. Silent Hill Origins, Valhalla Knights, and then Summon 5. I'm hoping to get the collector's edition of Summon 5. Uh, but until then, this will hold me off. I think this was like 4 or $5. This I wind up picking up for 40 bucks, uh, factory sealed at a local um, thrift store slash game thing. It's a, it's a place where you, like a flea market, but not really a flea market type thing. Battle Arena Toshinden for the Game Boy. This game is very uncommon to get complete in box, let alone factory sealed. Very happy to have that one in the collection. These two I picked up at the Columbus Flea Market. This one was five. Adventure Time to Go. Uh, Deadly Creatures. Uh, this was priced at 15 I wind up getting this with Resident Evil, the small jewel case uh, variant of it, uh, for 30 complete. Uh, so it was a pretty good deal. The only problem is, again, this one, the seal is broken on both ends. So basically, this is just a complete copy. Uh, this right here was um, video game stores. Um, There's a little video game store inside of Flea Market. Uh, these were all five bucks a piece. Um, Mercury. Mercury. I'm sorry. Beater. What the fuck is this? Beater. Take, well, I don't even know. Mercury Meltdown. Virtue of Tennis. Uh, this was five here. Uh, World Series of Poker 2007. Walking Dead Survival Intact. Five bucks. Factory Sealed. And then the last thing. Is these were five blows grabs Starhawk, Battleborn, and Hotshot Tennis. Uh, I'm actually going to be opening this one up because I love the Hotshot Golf series. I wonder if tennis is just as fun. Uh, so, guys, in the comments down below, let me know uh, what you've been uh, playing recently. Uh, and thank you, and have a great day.